Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be starting with uh, our ninth assignment, that is our another section that is B1 section. In this, uh, I have taken this schema that I will uh, do it on my Mongo shell. So this is my Mongo shell. So how you will include it in your uh, windows and then start implementing these queries i will provide you the link so let's begin so here we have to create one collection that is teachers and then following fields okay so let me show you how we can first create a database you can you simply use use followed by the name of the database like i can give my db okay so as you can see uh, it has successfully switched to my db so let's see whether there are any collections over here or not so this is the way how you can see so as there are no collections so we had to create a collection so i had already taken uh let me give uh, give me one minute i had taken uh created the schema i created the collection schema sorry my mistake uh, this i had need to copy so just this and close this and let me paste it as you can see this is a i will provide you the collection don't worry just you need to focus on the queries so i had successfully included so these are the object ids that basically uh automatically let inserted in the each field okay so let me see now how many collections do i have show collections so let me write what what is the name of our collection that is faculty so let me write db dot faculty dot find so as you can see this is our collection entire collection that we had inserted okay so now our task is first we had successfully inserted so this task is completed now find information about all the teachers so this is these are basically the teachers we had already done it how we can do it is again i can, i will show you db dot collection name dot find and pretty is another method how you will show it in a prettier manner okay so generally by default it is in pretty manner so if you know no, uh, there is no need to use this pretty explicitly okay so this is done now second query is also done now third query says find the information about all the teachers of the computer department so let me see whether department name is c yeah so how you will write this query is db dot faculty dot find inside this you will write this curly brackets this is basically json format how mongodb actually works now you will specify the name of the field as department name and followed by the ce and you will enter as you can see we had got all the teachers that ha that has department name as ce okay so as you can see department name ce 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 okay so this is how you will do it okay i can find single document as well the first document so this is find one this is another method this will give me the only the one document there is the difference between find and find one so let me explain you find one will basically return you the first document that uh, you had insert uh, that you had inserted uh while inserting whatever document uh, you had inserted with the department in ce it will give you that first document okay now i hope it's clear and find basically returns all the documents okay so as you have seen that i have done find and it will give me all the documents uh, and find basically returns a cursor so we can further perform uh, operations on this cursor like this suppose i will say dot give me limit only three documents limit basically means give me only three documents so it will provide me only three documents as you can see these are the three documents further we can write skip three documents so it will skip these three documents and it will provide us only a single document okay again we will use another like sort another this is another method so we have to provide the field that is name based on name give me the uh, records as you can see the p comes first then l r so basically find is basically a cursor it basically returns a cursor and further perform operations on these cursors so i hope this was 
beyond this uh, schema i had provided you additional information now find the information about all the teachers of computer department so this is done now find the information about all the teachers of computer it and first year department okay so first year department and it department i had not included i had uh, let me see what departments do i have find You don't need to focus too much on this. Uh, this is just for me to uh, see how many departments do we have. This is basically a general way we are grouping our ID is basically the, I will explain you in the further assignments we have to do this. So ID as department name. So sorry. Why it's giving error? Uh, ID as what's it's giving group. Sorry, I had to use aggregate over here. Don't worry, I will explain every each and everything. We had these three uh, departments already, C E E E M A. So here we have been asked to find out about all the teachers, computer, IT, and E N T C. Let's find C E and E E only. Okay, so how we will do it? We will do it right. Let me clear my screen. How will you, you will do it? Control L. Okay, D B dot faculty dot find. You know to provide. Curly braces that is JSON format. Then you need to provide department name, and then you need to find out multiple. If you are done, uh, MySQL there we also used in. Here we had also used. Uh, we had to also use in of, uh, operator. Okay. So this basically indicates this uh, basically indicates that this is a reserved word of MongoDB. Okay. So in basically takes a uh, array. Me. Me was there now. Yeah, we had me. So yeah, we had me. So let's enter, and you can see that we had got all the documents, uh, all the teachers that had department name as C and department name as ME, and we have not got any of the document that has department name as E. So this is how you uh, can do it. Okay. So this is also done. Here it was also asked to find the salary in between seventy thousand to one lakh. So as you can see, I have mentioned the salary as an uh, string, so it will. Basically, uh, how usually we uh, write it? Let me show you. Find uh, the department name same in uh, CE and ME, and here you need to specify also that is uh, uh, as it is a object. This is an object. You know, this is an object, and inside this, this is also an object. So you need to uh, write it in this way. That salary inside the semicolon salary dot basic, and then you need to specify. You can specify uh, here. Uh, we have been asked to find out salary in between seventy thousand and one thousand one lakh. How we do this? We usually do this like this. GTE greater than equal to this is basically an operator greater than equal to seventy thousand, comma, and less than equal to one lakh. Okay, this is a way. How you do it? Because I have taken the salary as a string, so that's why it's not giving us the uh, output. If I write it like this, that ba uh, salary dot basic as seventy thousand, you will notice that we had got seventy thousand as this record. This was the record that had uh, the basic salary as seventy thousand. So whenever you will write, uh, uh, whenever you will insert the document, make sure to uh, make it. As int, not as string. Otherwise, you will not be able to uh, successfully implement this query. Okay, I had done at that time. I had done uh, it in a string uh, manner, so not as an int. I had uh, included, so that's why I have not been able to get any output. Otherwise, this query works fine. Okay, so this is also done. Now we had to update the experience of any teacher to 10 years, and if the entry is not available in the database, consider the entry as a new entry. So it basically means that we have to update the experience of any of the teacher to 10 years we can do it like uh, i will do uh, and i can do it but uh, here we have been asked to we have been also specified that if a particular uh, record or document is not there then you need to include that also you need to update so here one special uh, i can say operator is there that is known as upsert upsert basically means that if there is Uh, if no such document is there while updating uh, we have we have uh, we have been specifying that uh, let me show you so uh, db dot faculty dot update one is one method so it basically has 
two JSON formats. This is basically first specify the filter. So let me give you uh, specify you first uh, explain you this name Johnson and this is set set means I am setting it's I told you that we had to specify like this industry as 10 years so as you can see it will do it as you can see modified count is one and let's see db dot faculty dot uh, so let me run this query my mistake just one minute so as you can see now Richard Johnson has experienced industry as 10 years okay so what absurd means that if you are searching for an employee or a teacher let me show you that way also suppose I am update one I am updating the document with the name suppose Motu okay now the Motu is not any teacher in our uh, entire collection so what it will do I am doing like set I'm doing set suppose I'm doing set uh, age as 21 okay now here I will also specify absurd true it will basically mean that if a particular document with the name motu is not there in our collection so it will insert this document with the name motu and the age 21 so let's see as you can see match count is 0 modified count is 0 and absurded count is 1 so let's see our entire collection you will see you will know what I am saying as you can see that we had uh, the one record one record has also inserted like name motu and age 21 so this was what I was saying so I hope you understood it now find the teacher teachers name and experience and arrange in decreasing order of their experience ticket so we have to find the teachers name and the experience and decreasing order of their experience so let me first see our entire yeah this is our now db dot faculty dot find I need to find out what uh, name and experience so whenever uh, you need to uh, find out some specific fields so you usually do like this first you keep it as empty then you do it like name one and you will do experience dot industry as one and then you will specify uh, what dot sort is another method I have told you in the that find is basically returns a cursor and you will specify over here that experience dot industry you can if you specify one it means in the ascending order you are sorting and if you specify minus one it is basically means in the descending order as you can see uh, it has uh, successfully sorted it in the descending order so you might get confused why it's uh, over here that why it's 10 uh, so uh, in the below why it's not above so the difference uh, the reason is because uh, it is in the string format not a integer if it was a string it was an integer then it would have been sorted in the correct way okay so why object ID is coming so you can uh, discard the object ID by specifying the like that ID as zero as you can see we are successfully getting the names and the experience of the following the decreasing order of their experience okay so this one is also completed same method is basically uh, one method which was uh, again used to insert as well as update but now the mongodb has deprecated it so this is basically uh, not um, if we implement it it will give us an error that mongodb has deprecated the same method okay so now we have to update method use the update method to change the designation of teachers whose experience is 10 years or above to professors take it so let's find out the first the employees uh, whose experiences whose experiences uh, in the industry is 10 years as you can see there is only one person so let's update he was uh, his designation was lecturer now we have to update it to uh, professor so db dot here we don't need to specify the update so we have to specify the update not find update one experience is ka 10 years eh? 
we have to specify the set designation as professor so as you can see match count one modified count one it's fine now as you can see the designation has upgraded to professor from lecturer okay so this one is also completed same method again deprecated so no need to do this now delete the documents from teacher collection having appointment nature as ad hoc so let me first include it mm. db dot faculty dot find so there is no one with the appointment nature as ad hoc so let me first include it okay db dot or update faculty dot update one uh whose name is uh karen smith i want to set its uh set its uh appointment nature as ad hoc as you can see modified count one yes i had got ad hoc as an appointment nature now i will delete how i will delete db dot faculty dot delete one if you will specify delete and then this this will delete the entire collection so do it uh, don't do it so then i have to specify our filter basically means whatever uh, I, uh, I want to delete appointment nature as head of now as you can see acknowledged one deleted count one so let's see whether karen smith has successfully deleted or not as you can see yes it's uh, here you uh, here karen smith was there and now there is no karen smith in our collection so i hope you understood it so this is also done display with pretty method first three documents in teachers collection ascending order of their experience so db dot faculty dot uh, find find basically returns the cursor so that's why find now we had to with the pretty method so let's include pretty so it is by default pretty now first three documents in and sort them in the now we want first we need to limit because first three documents we need to display and then sorted in the ascending order of their experience so experience dot industry as one so as you can see we had got limit three but we had only how many documents are there? One, two, and three, four, five, six. So many documents are there. <laughs> the ascending order of their experience. Limit three. Yeah, we are getting three documents. I thought we have uh, we are getting two only two documents, but this was another document more to was there. So this is there. Execute any other queries using additional uh, concepts. So let me tell you. So there is one method um, as I let me tell you about the find method so find basically returns a cursor as you know so uh, there is skip limit as you already know there is also for each there if you basically it is a it takes a function and you will write if print json is another method and you will write x it will give you all the documents again so as you can see it has given us all the documents okay so this is another method how you will uh, display all the records from your collection okay so another uh, i can show you is there is one ordered false ordered uh, option it basically means that whenever you are inserting any document or record inside your uh, collection or document inside your collection there generally happens that if you uh, manually type id or object id and you like suppose you inserted uh, three documents with object id a a and d so it will insert a it will give you an error showing that a is already an object id that you had already included and d will not get included in your collection so for that cases so we use generally use option and we specify option as false because by default it is true okay so this is another method so I hope you understood this assignment, entire assignment. So you just need to practice each and everything. So this is it. Don't forget to like, share. Thank you.